not my bookie taking me to top golf for the first time. Hey, party people, welcome. Oh, <laughs> I'm getting my pumpkin ready. Let me do the intro. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to get up. Hey, party people, welcome. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Taylor, better go by TVM soon. All of my platforms, and we are back for another weekly vlog. And we are getting in all the fall activities. We have what do people call you? Tasha, T. Ramson's mom. No, but I mean like, because on the internet, I'm like, y'all can get your auntie. But like, you know how famous people have like, like Mama Tina, like everybody know Tina knows, it's like, you know what I'm saying? I'm Mama Tasha then. Mm, I don't like that. Um, it's my name. I know what I'm saying, like. Mama T. Mama T, we'll do Mama T. Anyway, we got mom in the building. Better known as TT to my nieces and nephews. Yeah, she's the ultimate TT. Um, we're actually getting ready to have a pumpkin carving <laughs> competition. And I'm laughing because she really about to lose and it's funny. I'm going to win. Um, so First this, of all. <laughs> this is my pumpkin. I think it fits my personality and I think her pumpkin fits my pumpkin. And I think her pumpkin fits her personality. So we're actually getting ready to start. Um, <laughs> We're getting ready to start carving them out and like doing our little designs. I've had my design since yesterday because we're supposed to do it yesterday, but we just got caught up. So we're going to carve these pumpkins. Oh, you breathe hard on my head. I want you to feel the pressure. I don't feel no pressure, honey. Um, we're going to carve these pumpkins. I'm going to make some cookies and then we're actually going to watch a movie. Because she. Anyway, she got to pick the movie last night. I'm picking the movie tonight. I don't know how that works when I won the bet. You so picked the movie last night. Right, so. That was last night. You picked it. So it's a consolation prize? What do you mean? Are you just picking the movie tonight? Yeah, because I just want to watch this one. Okay, all right. Yeah. I mean, but if there was, I'm going to win this so I can pick the movie. <laughs> anyway, how we're going to get to know who wins or not, I'm gonna post it on my Instagram story. So make sure y'all follow me on Instagram um, so you can get the behind the scenes of my life. So, I'm gonna win. Wow, okay. <laughs> Let's get to carving. Period. Started, I do want to say comment mama T if you think she won this competition and comment Tay if you think I won this competition go ahead okay move move your little pigeon girl anyways so I stuck with the home theme so I have home <laughs> and then live Y'all, yeah, she lived, laughed, lived, laugh, and loved through life. In love. That is such a mom pumpkin to make. It is. But it's going to look beautiful on my front porch as the winner. And you're not winning. <laughs> I have the cutest, y'all know, my signature little wink that I do at the end of all my videos. I thought I'd go ahead and run that back for my pumpkin. And then let's do a little snap tool. <laughs> How cute is that? So we have a little wink. We got a little heart. We got a little heart notes upside down. 
And then you got two snagger teeth. That is so cute. That is cute. It's so cute. But not as cute as mine. I'm winning, period. You didn't have enough creativity. I did. So I'm, we're gonna light them for y'all. So y'all can see them in the dark. Home. That is so cute. <laughs> Live, laugh. That is love. so cute. This is too cute. Turn it towards me a little bit. So that is it, y'all. That was fun. What would you rate that experience? That was a lot of fun. And literally, we paid four dollars and fifty cents for both pumpkins. For these pumpkins, from a piece Walmart. from Walmart. So go to your local Walmart so you can carve pumpkins at home because. And they were they're really they had a great variety yeah. of pumpkins. There was different one lady who had like sizes. triple the size of this one. In yeah, her heart. and they were all the $4. same price, no matter what the size. Yeah. So I'm gonna go back this week and get some more to complement these to put on the front porch. And then along with some mums, and then we'll take a picture of our front porch decor. She was like, <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, this is super cute, fun activity, especially for your kids. Yeah. And I'm just a firm believer, I ain't never too big to do nothing. And then I think they'll love the, the messiness of it all too. Yeah, this is super fun. We need to make this a tradition. Yeah. Yeah. This is cute. All right, y'all. So I already baked the cookies um, and we're going to actually watch Haunted Mansion. Hmm? <laughs> it's not scary, it's on Disney. It's not scary. Is it a cartoon? No, oh, it got okay. Tiffany Haddish in it, Lakeith Stanfield, Rosario. Um, What's her name? It got a whole stat cast. This it's, was the so reviews. much fun. Yeah, it was. I think I'm going to cut this good. down soon. Okay. I'm going to cut this down. Alright, y'all. We hope y'all enjoyed this little fall activity. I will catch y'all when I catch y'all. <laughs> hey, party people. So, it is a Wednesday. We are halfway through the week and I am actually really, really excited because I'm getting ready to hop on a call. Um, and it's a master class with the Maddie James. Um, this master class is teaching you how to pitch as a content creator and just basically position yourself to be in a great place when you're pitching to these brands to land your dream brand deals and also land higher brand deals no matter your follower count or anything like that. Um, this is my second year full-time content creating and I have definitely learned a lot, but one thing that I have learned is that followers mean nothing if you can't convert that into monetization. Like if no one is buying from you, if no one, you aren't influencing people to purchase, um, you will have a lot of followers and that's pretty much all you have to show for it. So um, with that being said, I already knew that I did want to go ahead and invest into her program, but Thank God she is actually giving a free masterclass. Why, I'm not sure, but she decided to give a free masterclass for the program that I was going to join. So I signed up ASAP, Rocky, okay? And got one. So it's getting ready to start. It starts at two o'clock. I'm not sure how long it lasts, but super excited to hop on this. And I think it's perfect timing too because I actually am not signed to a talent agency anymore. Um, many creators are assigned to talent agencies which help them to land brand deals and they pretty much take over that entire aspect of being a creator. And while I do think it's very beneficial, I think it's even more beneficial to sign to an agency that is in alignment with who you are and also how you see yourself and pitch yourself. And I was no longer aligned with the agency that I was with. So I am back to representing myself. And I'm actually really, really excited because I love a good challenge. And I love being able to challenge myself, but also prove myself right. Because in this industry or in any industry, really, when you're chasing after your dreams, like you have to bet on yourself. And what other people are showing you or telling you that they don't see you as valuable or they don't see... Um, your value the way you see it, you gotta exit stage left and keep it pushing. So I'm excited to have this information to see what I know, what I don't know, um, and to be able to implement that. So I'm excited and yeah, this class is getting ready to start. So 
I uh, just want to do a quick check-in and um, I'll check in with y'all a little bit later to let you know how the class went and also then we can get into the rest of the fall activity. So I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're having an amazing week and I love y'all and I will see y'all in the next clip. Bye y'all. All right, so I just finished the master class and it was really, really good. For the most part, I pretty much knew everything that she was already talking about um, because again, I have been doing this for two years. Um, and then of course, I figured as much at the end of the call, she pitched her um, master class course that will be going on, I think for the next six, the oven is preheated, um, for the next six months. And I'm gonna pray on it and see, you know, if that's something God is leading me to, because it definitely is a pretty penny. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm getting ready to make tomato basil soup for the first time for, from scratch. And then I'm also going to make croissant um, grilled cheese. And I got this bread, I literally drove 30 minutes just to pick up this bread because I saw it on TikTok. It is croissant toast bread. And so I, once I take it out, I'll get, show you guys, but like literally it's croissant. Croissant, okay? but in low form and I'm excited about it. So I'm going to actually make a garlic butter concoction to go on top before I, you know, put the cheese in it for the grilled cheese. And then as y'all can see, my ingredients are all out for the um, tomato basil soup. So I'm getting ready to roast my vegetables while I finish up some work. And yeah, y'all, so, oh, and another thing, I want to show y'all these, Slippers that I got from Target, y'all. They are, I think, currently $20 at Target. I'll leave them in the description bar below, but these are the most comfortable slippers I've ever put on in my entire life. Y'all know I always wear my Ugg slides. I've worn them for years. I've had them forever. They were a gift, and I've just used those over the years, but I was in Target last weekend and came across these slippers and I just slid them on to see how they felt and I was like, oh, I'm leaving here with these. I am leaving here with these. Like these are the most cozy slipper and they literally go with like all the fall outfits. And I really want to get into looking better in um, like loungewear. I don't really have any loungewear, so I need to invest in more loungewear and I feel like getting these slippers will help me to find more loungewear that matches these. Um, but anyway. I'm gonna get started on dinner because this will be our dinner for tonight. And that's it, so yeah. This week has been a really, really heavy computer week. Next week is gonna be a really, really heavy filming week. And I always love filming more than I love the computer process. I do love editing, but like filming is always my favorite portion outside of like talking to y'all. Like, that's my favorite part of the job, talking to y'all and then filming. I love when I see my vision come to life for anything that I have. Like I have this upcoming transition video that I got inspo for like literally two days ago and I was like, oh, I gotta film this video next week. So I'm really, really excited. And I can always tell when a video is gonna go like semi-viral or viral. It's just the feeling in my chest. Like I can't describe it. I can all, I, like I know when a picture is gonna do well. I know when a video is gonna do well. Like I know, I, it's just a feeling. Like I know when something's gonna be a banger and every single time I think it's gonna be a banger, it always ends up doing better than what I expected it to, so. Really excited about that. I just love this job and this career. Although it's very hard and like challenging, I, I love, I'd rather do this than go back to my old corporate job. We'll just say that. So yeah, let me get to cooking and I will, I'm gonna leave the recipe. Y'all wanna see me cook? Y'all don't wanna see me cook. I'm gonna leave the recipe in the description bar. And you can only get this bread at Whole Foods or Kroger. That's it. So, I heard some people in the comments say Sam's Club, hit or miss depending on what city or state you live in. But for sure, you can get it from Whole Foods. I drove 30 minutes to get this, this bread. And I think it's $8.99 with tax nine, a little over $9, so. Fingers crossed it's as good as it, everybody saying it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook and do my thing and I'll check back in with y'all when I finish the soup. I have already started grabbing down on this soup and this grilled cheese. And it's not really grilled cheese, I added turkey to it. Yeah. Y'all look at this croissant bread, please, and thank you. 
look, look, look at. And my tomato basil soup came out with well, what's left of it. <laughs> it came out so good, y'all. It is so tasty. It is so light. It is so rich in flavor. I did that. I did that. I would definitely leave the link for the recipe. Honestly, I didn't use that recipe. I ain't even gonna hold you. When I feel like I can make something better, I go ahead and tweak it. But I will leave the recipe that I started to use for the tomato basil recipe um, for the tomato basil soup. And y'all know how to make grilled cheese. Just make sure y'all get that croissant bread. It was worth the 30 minute drive to Whole Foods to get that bread, top tier. Especially with the gar I made a garlic butter, a homemade garlic butter to go on top. The flavors are melting in my mouth. Absolutely delicious. So glad that I did that today for dinner. Um, so I'm gonna let, well not gonna let, but I'm gonna let y'all see my mom try it as well um, because her reactions are always so hilarious. So 10 out of 10, highly recommend. I feel so accomplished. It was super easy. I wouldn't say quick meal, but it was super easy meal to make. Um, and it was my first time making soup from scratch. So I'm proud of myself. You go girl. Yes, ma'am. She's domesticated and educated. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I'm getting ready to finish this up and get back into this vlog that I'm watching. Um, currently watching Jalen's Face Over Matter. That's her name on here. Oh, well, on all her social media platforms. Her Vlogtober. I love her content. Um, so I'm going to get back to doing that and then I will check in with y'all probably on Friday because Friday is when all the fall activities start for me because my best friend has a entire weekend plan of just fun activities that we both wanted to do but also to celebrate my birthday together because we always celebrate my It's time for me to go and shut it down for the day. Uh, which means I need to say goodbye to y'all. But we always celebrate my birthday together and so she decided to plan a whole weekend of fall activities so I'm really really excited. So I will talk to y'all later. All right, our girl is home. She's already tasted tomato basil soup. Now remember that's what's scratch. <laughs> I ate it up, baby. Hang on, hold on. Hold on hold okay, on, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You got to dip it. You ain't melt your cheese out of it. You didn't add water and put the lid on it? Mm-hmm. You did it? Mm-mm. <laughs> well, that cheese pool is crazy. Mm. I'm gonna eat that for lunch tomorrow. <laughs> My mama ain't never speechless, nah, never, okay? Many words. Mm, 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 mm. What's your rating? That's a 10, Tay. I was about to say, it don't have to be a 10. I'm not expecting a 10. Mm. It's my first time making it. No, that's a 10. Really? Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, my mama never get 10s, by the way, y'all. <laughs> she always say, it could be used a little more, a little more. I feel like I seasoned that, like, perfectly. Mm. Wow, a 10 from my mama is cool. <laughs> Tell them bye at least. Bye, excuse me. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, every time I step outside, I'm put a little something on. I don't care if I'm going to get a ham sandwich from the deli. You know what I'm saying? You never know who you're gonna see. What, 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 what they say, stay ready so you don't have to, what they say, church, get ready. Hey y'all, happy Friday. Hope you guys are doing well. My bestie, Buki, is here for the weekend. And we are so excited. So I just want to give y'all a quick little OOTD. I probably already inserted the reel that I created, but I'm just going to tell y'all anyway. So, and I'm going to link everything below so y'all can go purchase if you want to. This top is from Classy Network. It's the one of the bras that I showed y'all earlier, like one of those built-in shirt bras. So I don't have a bra. The padding is already in here. We love that. I got these sweatpants from Target for 20 bucks. 20 or 25 dollars. I love their wide leg, like high waisted wide leg looks so good in my body. I have on my Nike Air Max, um, my 
bracelet is Anna Luisa. My earrings are the Hoop Mob. And this necklace is from my bestie. And then this, I'm carrying this bag. I got, we got this from that is an old paper right a there. Rainbow. Yeah. Oh, City Dream. No, no, Rainbow. Rainbow. I'm trying to think if it was the left or the right, because the right is City Tree and the left is Rainbow. We got this before we went to Grand like Cayman Islands. Stuff. Yeah, like years ago. And it's just. 2019. Yeah, yeah, years ago. And then he just come in clutch, and I just feel like this goes perfectly with the outfit. And then I'm gonna be wearing these shades from Amazon. Everything will be linked down below. And just so y'all know, I do have a like to know it store. Basically, anything that I wear on my Instagram or have purchased, it could be food, it could be. Um, ointment lotion skincare whatever you can shop the full post on like to know it it's a platform where you can literally shop everything on my instagram or here on youtube i will link everything but you can follow me on like to know it i'll have it posted over here it's just another way for creators to make money and also share products with y'all that we use on the daily so yeah y'all go follow me you want to say something or give them an ootd i don't have my shoes on okay well still show them the outfit that was cute <laughs> Oh, please. I know how funny. Don't judge me. They can't even see him. The pants, like, no, the shirt is from. It's so cute. Thailand. Yeah, it's my Thailand. Y'all can't get it. I'm sorry. Yo. <laughs> it's very much exclusive. I ain't got that flight, no. Uh, shirt <laughs> She's not wearing those, y'all, outside. Uh, my look, I have a little flare up, so you got the. <laughs> Gotta get that. That's my outfit. My necklace is from Greece. Hair by Keisha. Right, right. hair by Keisha. Well, this hair by Keisha. Oh, the haircut is by Keisha, though. Mm -hmm. Show on the bag. Typically, the outfit. Not the back, the bag. Oh. The back of your hair do look good, though. <laughs> the back of your hair do look oh, good. Me. It do look good. good. It do look good. That it's real funny. cute. Oh yeah, this the bag. Very From my cousin, period. Oh, per, per, per. From my grandma, period. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Get into it. Bro. Anyways, that is it. She has a whole entire weekend plan and I literally have no idea what we're doing. This is how we are celebrating ending my birthday month because mm -hmm. we haven't seen each other this month. Um, we always celebrate each other's birthdays together, so. Um, and also with our other best friend, but we plan that in November so we can all celebrate together. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, this is our little bestie weekend, mm -hmm. and I'm excited about it. Me too. Bestie bookie. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. Bye. bye. Not my bookie taking me to Top Golf for the first time. Yeah. <laughs> I got in the car. I had a little card and some flowers there in the back. Though I put them in the back. <laughs> but get y'all a best friend who love y'all. Who need a man? When I got bookie. <laughs> yeah. Come a little harder. Yeah. Come a little harder. Yeah. I'm so excited, y'all. I've been talking about Top Golf for so long. Literally. Every time I talk about. I've never been. Oh, yeah. I've never, oh, never been. I still never all been. All of Girl, my friends. Shut up. <laughs> Wait. Now? All of my friends have been. All of my family has been. Yes. So it's not. And I always say I've never been because it's like, it's not gonna be new for anybody else. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, and I want it to be, and it's not new for you, but it's our first time going together. Yeah. Like, everybody I know has already been. So I'm just excited to be going with Wookie. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Anyway, I'll talk to y'all when we get the top off. Yes. I'm excited. I'm so excited. You can see all my teeth. <laughs> hey y'all, so we are officially at Top Golf and it is so, first of all, it's so chilly here. Also, it's super cute. Nate's going first because she knows what she's doing, I don't. But yeah, we're about to get started. Let's get into it. <laughs> Let's get so we got some food. These are mac and cheese bites, buffalo dip. And honestly, I don't know how their food is, but yes, thank you. This is a cute 
spot. back from top golf and it was so much fun 10 out of 10 highly recommend definitely going back um but they got me what would you call this a little spooky bag a little a little game night bag um so it says stay spooky and inside it was this blessed mug some hershey kisses socks i love socks um so two twigs for me <laughs> Nah, I'm just playing. Okay. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just, I don't want y'all fucking. Nah, I wasn't even fucking two minutes ago. I'm just playing. This little cute little <laughs> glass that says Boo Crew. And then she got us matching pajamas. Um, these little. Ooh, these, these feel so hot. Like, they about to be so hot. These pants and this shirt that says just here for the booze. And she got a matching set too, so we'll be twinning. I love twinning. <laughs> I love twinning. So that was it. Like I said, get y'all a bestie who do this for y'all. Period. My mama said, period, behind the camera. Yeah. Because it like take a good you. friend. And she on her way. It, yeah. But this is really about to be a bestie weekend. Yeah. Have you ever met Aunt Mimi? You have? Oh, okay. I was trying to figure out if you had, but I'm like, I don't think she has. Yeah. When did you meet her? Um, college. I don't remember college, but I, the party, that was the second time. Oh, yeah. And she was like, what party? Oh, your she, party, yeah. Uh, I was like, it's so nice to meet She was like, we met in college. I'm like, I don't remember y'all meeting, meeting in college. Yeah. She said we did. I don't remember oh, that. Right. And I'm not telling her no lie. She's telling the truth. The day that I dropped, when y'all was dropped off, did she? No, no. it was just us. And then all the day aunties and uncles. And <laughs> we went by it afterwards. Yeah, you went by yourself because yeah, you stayed with them. But she said we met. And I believe her. I just, my did she say just Yeah, I don't remember. That's what I'm saying. I don't think y'all ever met. Like, oh, I don't know if y'all met. Because they didn't like meet somebody like, nice to meet you. But we met before. Oh, I was so excited. I was so excited. She said, baby, we done met. Well, girl, I like, it's, you know. Oh, I forgot. They got me some masks, too. We're going to do masks. Masks tonight. Good job, good job. Good job, good job. G double O D J O V. Good job, good job. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to do these tonight. So, it's giving skincare, it's giving girl time, it's giving. I love being a girl. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Literally. Oh, mommy's here. Say hello. Hello. Why do we act funky to the people? <laughs> the people be loving you, or you be acting funky to the people. <clears throat> Give them a proper hey. How y'all doing? How y'all doing, party people? How your mommy now? How your mommy now? Jesus, she ain't got about it all right. Mm -hmm. Made it through another week. It's Friday. Praise God. Friday. Yeah. She just ate the rest of that tomato basil soup, y'all, with that grilled cheese. I ain't, I don't want to go clean. I'm going to take it down. <laughs> I did my cleaning day. I'm done. Uh-uh. I done did my part. You got to do your part. Give me a minute. But yeah, she said, 
Carrot cake start there. She said that tomato soup, 10 out of 10. Still to this day, y'all know how hard it is to get a 10 out of my mama. She said that tomato soup was 10 out of 10, so I did. Amazing. Like, y'all don't have to figure out I'm the best way y'all can, because I'm late. <laughs> <laughs> now we on our own. That's crazy. I don't even want no pizza now. Figure it up. Okay, because I could give me some cheeky nuggies from Wendy's. With some sweet sour sauce. You like Wendy's chicken nuggets over? Nobody said over. I just said Wendy's. Oh. I just said Wendy's. Now I go Chick Fil A. Oh, okay. I just said I just said Wendy's. Oh, okay. I did. And nobody said over. Okay. Because we already talked about Wendy's. I thought you was turning on me. No, oh, we already talked about Wendy's. That's all. Nobody. I love. I love everybody. Yeah. <laughs> I love all chicken nuggets. <laughs> Different mode. Zaxby's? Yeah. No, nah, I don't like Popeye's chicken nuggets. Mm -hmm. I, I have. I have. Because I, I put it on top. Remember oh, they were doing no. that trend? I do, yeah. With the mac and nah, cheese and the. Like not better. Oh, than. better, yeah. But that combo? Oh, together it was fantastic. They didn't really warm it up. That oh, leftover. Yeah. Like they got the recipe down for the crisp. Yeah. But I'm saying. Not over. I wouldn't. Yeah, like. Wendy, to me, it's Chick fil A. Mm hmm. Chick-fil-A Chick I can't compare them No, but here goes the list for me. It goes Chick-fil-A. Nuggets. We're talking about nuggets. Just nuggets specifically. Okay. For me. Okay. I, I'm not Chick-fil-A, Wendy's, and McDonald's depending on the day. McDonald's could hit number two or number three. Depending, oh, depending on the day. Sometimes Wendy's, Wendy's chicken nuggies be hitting. I don't know. What's up about Wendy's nuggets? That Sometimes like McDonald's chicken. nuggets be soggy. Oh, I like Wendy's nuggets. Huh? You don't like Wendy's nuggets. Wendy's on a good day, they're so good. Cool. Tasha, you like who you like? You like that, McDonald's that, better than Wendy's? Yeah. No, oh, no. Why. Wendy's chicken nuggets are real chicken. We know mystery meat is McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, and, and that's what I'm on a good day when they're fried hard. Wendy's is better than Chick Fil A. Okay, I mean, better than McDonald's. Yeah. And McDonald's. That's what I'm saying. We having more bad days than. That's what I'm saying. Day. Chick Fil A, Wendy's. McDonald's, Zaxby's. You gonna put Zaxby's at the bottom? Chicken nuggies? They don't even have chicken nuggies. So like, chicken tenders? Yeah. Why you calling chicken nuggies? I don't know. It just sound better. Kid. You like a kid all day. Kid. <laughs> chicken nuggies? Y'all ain't never heard that? Nuggets. Chicken nuggies. Yeah, I heard five year olds say it. Of course. No, y'all yeah. probably never heard that on TikTok. No. Uh. Oh wow. From kids? No, from adults. Oh, kids. Big kids. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well. Sure. Chicken okay. nuggies. What y'all think? What y'all ranking for chicken nuggies? No. I don't eat nuggies. Um, nuggies? Yeah. Uh, oh lord. Chick-fil-A definitely won. That's what I'm saying. Elite. We went in Zaxby's though. Zaxby's? It don't count because they only serve tenders. Yeah, I would put in. Yeah. That's why they last for me. So, I would, yeah. But even the chicken ain't better than Wendy's or Chick-fil-A. See, I like chicken strip wise. I like Zaxby chicken strips over oh, Chick Fil A chicken strips. What about oh, I don't. Chick Fil A chicken strips? Cookout nuggets. Mm -hmm. cook out nuggets are good to me. No, taste like frozen nuggets to me. Yeah, they do. But to me, they'll be under McDonald's. Right. It'll be under McDonald's. Okay. Like it's Chick Fil A and Wendy still. Yeah, Wendy's chicken, chicken nuggets, nuggets on a good day. Yeah. Okay. I just have. I guess I can. Like fried hard. I'm about to say fried hard with the salt because they salt they fry so good. I'm gonna have to run it back because I. Yeah, I you gotta go. When you get hot, fr yeah. like really crisp chicken nuggies from Wendy, it's bet it's top tier. Yeah, I promise you. Okay. No. Cause no, because you don't even get chicken nuggets from uh, Wendy's. We you, should we, no sandwich. Uh, I get the chicken sandwich. The chicken sandwich. I always get the chicken sandwich. Mm -hmm. No chicken nuggets no, on a chicken good day. Good. I'm gonna have to try. Good. Good. Okay. Yeah. Right. Ten, ten, tens across the board. I but I would do the same thing. As you. you see my little wing? I ain't done a wing since college. I know that your wing. I don't even want to say nothing. You yeah, know, yeah. I, I be I hyping did. you up all the time. You don't believe me, but you I, did that. Yeah, I've been trying to wing and see yeah, how it look on my face. You winging? So I did a baby one day. Get your little baby mold on your face. I know. Period. The mold just growing and growing and growing, y'all. I don't get up. I really don't. <laughs> don't get up. You better yeah, play you some gospel yeah. music. Can I? Um, who can I call mm -hmm. real quick? Mm -hmm. Oh, to get you through it, Auntie. 
Auntie. Auntie will talk you through the whole cleaning. Yeah, let me call Auntie. Anyway, we have talked enough. I will talk to y'all when we do our next little activity. And when the rest of the family get here. Ooh. Girl. I know. My, it'd be my shoulders that look so muscular. See like, I see it. You want to show the people? Or you don't want me to show the people? You can show my guns. Okay, period. Oh, you a squirrel. Look at it right there. <laughs> no, no, don't pay attention to that down here. Just this up here. Period. All right, y'all. See ya. Oh, we got another little matching PJs. Come show the people the PJs. Get into it. Yes, yes. Get into yes. it. Buki. Mm -hmm. We just got done playing Connect Four, and that was actually a good game. I have not played Connect Four in so long. That was good. Um, now we're getting ready to play Jenga. I've also never played Jenga. A lot of firsts today. So let's see how bad I get whooped. I poke it from which way? Get the way you can to get it out. Why it's not coming? Yeah, you thought that. You oh. can't touch the. Okay. Right. It's about to be. Oh. And you can't hold it. Oh. What you doing? I'm supposed to do one hand, one finger. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, and you can't take it out the top. Listen, I should have known. I got to record this. I, I don't record. know how to play it. I thought I'm you weak. Weak. I'm weak. It's I can't you. hold it. You trying to hold the Yes, I'm going to fall. That's the purpose of the game. If it falls, you lose. Okay, let, let's try. Okay. Oh, I have mercy. Okay. Let me go. <laughs> let me straighten this back up, though. My bad. That was funny. I thought yeah. I could hold it. No. It's one hand. And once you commit to one, you gotta, you gotta do it. So, like, you don't commit it to that one, you gotta take I it gotta out. take it out. I'm about to lose, probably. Yeah, because that one isn't smart. Okay. Cause you moving the whole thing around, you know what I'm saying? Like how you just move that all around, so now it's probably gonna fall. Uh oh, so you can <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I don't. I never mess with my own. No, I play. Hey. Lord, I feel like I should have put up a tutorial. That is funny. So like normally you can't fix gotcha. it up once this thing is, but because you're supposed to leave it. Yeah. So don't tap it. Just try take it. Yeah. You're playing.
I don't know. I feel like I'm just copying the flowers you got me earlier. <laughs> oh, yeah. Exactly when I saw thing. it, I was like, oh, my God, that is perfect. It's, yeah, it's exactly. And I got these, this stuff last night. So when I saw those, I was like, you know what? Yeah. They're sitting on my bedside. I love bedside flowers. Yeah. And this was supposed to be a, um, oh, I mean, yeah. have you put the TikTok in the description. It was supposed to be a pumpkin, like a styrofoam pumpkin. Yeah. And then you put this, oh, I want you put this on top of the pumpkin and you carve around it and then you stick it in the pumpkin and then you put the flowers in so it'll be like a pumpkin on the outside. Yeah. But people don't have pumpkins and the pumpkins they have are rotten, so cheers. <laughs> <laughs> but we can test it out on the pumpkins outside too. Oh yeah. Yeah, just to see mm -hmm. how it looks if you want to do that. Yeah. Alright. Let's get to it. Y'all, so we're actually making um, pretzel spider webs and um so far it's going it's going brush is good um but yeah so can you see this mm -mm. so they did this one you have to like try to congeal it together yeah <laughs> okay girl <laughs> okay we're gonna make two more Congratulations. She got this off TikTok. It's super cute. You need a knife, right? Yeah, two pig, whatever. I got two pig. All right. Okay. You did it. But ain't it supposed to be off of it? What you mean? Because when you take it off, it's supposed to freeze and it's supposed to come up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Supposed to harden. It's supposed to, but you know. Oh God. All right, all right, all right. You look good. Mm -hmm. I did a big vlog though. I'm gonna do this yeah, one. Oh, sorry. So this is the finished product. Now yeah, I want that because the sprinkles gone. These are spiderweb pretzels. I'm excited. Uh -huh. <laughs> it came out cute. It's gonna taste real good. The pretzels good. That yeah, white chocolate. That white you know. chocolate. Chef's kiss. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put them in the freezer mm -hmm. and then I'll come back with the finishing product. Oh my god. <laughs> hey y'all, I just wanted to pop in and say thank you so much for watching and tuning in to this entire vlog. It was absolutely amazing. Um, me and my best friend, we ended up going to the fair the next day and then she made me breakfast on Sunday and we just really hung out and spent some quality time together so i know she'll be watching this so nay thank you so much for always making me a priority and making me feel so loved and important and just like i am the best thing since sliced bread um having good friends is not everybody's reality and i know that and i'm so blessed to have multiple people in my life that i call friends and family um that show up in ways like this all the time. So I just wanna highlight my best friend for always making me feel so loved and so appreciated and just heard and seen and all that good stuff. So yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment how you feel in the comment section below. We are actually growing so much here on YouTube and I'm actually excited because this is my first baby and my first platform or introduction into social media. So. It's been a joy to kind of see it reignite all over again years later. Um, but yeah, I love you. God loves you more. And always, 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 always stay prayed up, stay motivated. And I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye, y'all.